Hey, good morning. Coffee Cup Chronicles, day number 40. Yeah, I went and recount it. <laughs> I've got it off track with my numbers because I've been put in Facebook jail again. So I'm having to send these over to my brother, Dan, and asking him to put them on my wall because I can't post till March 14th. And he reminded me about my number screw up. So thank you, Daniel. I wanted to get back on track. Not that I've always been on track. <laughs> mm. Good coffee this morning. Wait, it's good coffee every morning. So anyway, it's Mesa Verde. New Mexico, not Colorado. These are uh, just east of Santa Fe, New Mexico. Um, went there years ago, actually went on a honeymoon, and uh, we picked that because it was quiet, was out of the way, wasn't a lot of crowds, and I we wanted to see New Mexico. So, uh, the Quip drawings were quite interesting. It's the Pueblo Indians had carved their homes or whatever, how they lived up in these cliffs, apparently to stay away from, you know, intruders and all that. It, it, it's a gorgeous area. Um, nice temperature. We didn't, uh, we wanted to go to the market, but we didn't, we, there's a Mexican market. I dropped my glasses, I'm sorry. And we're going to need the glasses here in a minute because I had to do some research on here. Uh, not because... I don't remember. I remember. I just don't remember the names of the places and or how to pronounce them. So we went out for breakfast. I think the third morning we went out for breakfast and we went up to this little town um, called Chamayo, New Mexico. And we went to, uh, well, it's called the Rancho de Chamayo. It's a Pueblo style restaurant with Pueblo style food. Um, First time I ever had, what's it called, Huevos Rancheros? I think I pronounced that right. I've never been able to pronounce that right. Maybe I have this time. Como estas? I don't know. Anyway, um, it was a great breakfast. There's a little church up there, and it's called Santo Rio de Chamayo. Very famous. Um, beautiful churches in all of Santa Fe. If you just go for the architect alone, it's tremendous. But the cliff, cliff dwellings I found fascinating because it's how people lived back then, the Pueblo Indians. I mean, we can you imagine? I mean, it was probably 90, 92 that day. Um, and you, you've got a, it's probably a half mile walk in from the entrance to the park. Once you park and get in, it's about a half mile walk or more up a little bit of a grade to get to these cliff dwellings and you could actually go up and see them. 92 degrees, I mean, to tell you, in New Mexico, you know, it's quite, quite interesting. You get a chance, go. I've said this a lot and I want to continue to say this. I'm thankful for parents. Uh, mom and dad who kept us boys interested in places to go and things to do. We went down to Virginia. We went to Racine, Wisconsin. We went to Allegheny State Park. And uh, unfortunately, the summer that they went over to Thousand Islands um, was the summer of 73 because Dan and Bill and mom and dad went over and I stayed home with my grandmother to uh, go to 12th grade English and driver ed in between 11th and 12th grade. Saves, saved a lot on the insurance, and I, want, I got out of school early in January. In fact, I just found out recently, not only did I get out early, so did my younger brother Dan, and I believe Bill did also. Anyway, this is supposed to be about the coffee cups. This is uh, Mesa Verde, New Mexico. Got coffee. Go get yours this morning. Enjoy it where you are. Some of you are down in 80 degree weather down there. Some of you got rain. Oh, wait. Houston, you're getting snow this morning. 
snow, February 15th, 2021. We got snow on the ground and it's 11 degrees. <laughs> I'd hate to be a driver in Houston this morning. Anyway, y'all have a great day. We'll talk to you again tomorrow.